परफॉर्मिंग very good so uh, now you got the surgery done so it has been like 7 uh, days now post op yeah. so how do you feel uh, uh, previously i was uh, having lot of fear in my mind what will happen and how the people uh, are telling me it is very dangerous but when i came to know that uh, i am going to be uh, operated uh, in a safe hands i got some satisfaction but really when i got up from uh, uh i see and i found that there was no pain and there was uh, no problem even uh, uh, to walk up to the washroom and i went there and uh, just after the last trip i got first cup of uh, tea and i found there is no complication no pains so uh, as you said you started liquids on day 1 within hours of the surgery yeah yeah as soon as mm-hmm. i was uh, i think as per my knowledge because when i got uh, uh, unconscious i don't know but when i come to the conscious uh they start giving me the sips of water immediately mm-hmm. and uh, then immediately they told uh, after one or two drips uh, bottles you will take anything so yeah. uh, basically uh, i need to you know explain here this point is very important when to start the liquids and when to start the solids with yes. mini gastric bypass it is a low pressure system this surgery is the latest as you as you say the iphone 5 and iphone 7 this is like that this is the latest of its kind because if we see from patient's point of view what a patient wants we should be quickly back to eating yeah. so not too much long period for clear liquids all those things not too much of nausea and vomiting like doctor you also got the surgery done yeah same day is your father same yes. day yeah so uh, how are you feeling um just like my dad described same no pain nothing i okay. was I went outside like two days post op and like walked around no problem. So again, this is your seventh post op day. Yeah. And may I ask you, what are you eating now? Some kind of semi solid food. Yeah, I've had. Um, well, uh, two days after the surgery, I started having yogurt, you know, soup, stuff like that. But I'm like. Yesterday I tried like a little bit of potato. Yeah. And it's going down fine. So this is this is something you can see. This is the USP, unique selling yeah. point of yeah. uh, mini gastric bypass. Yeah. You can start eating quickly. On day two you can start the semi solids. What is the reason? The pouch is bigger, and the outlet is bigger. It's yeah. a low pressure, non obstructive kind of surgery. And how does MGB control your weight? Number one, you cannot eat much, but at least you can eat a moderate amount of diet, and that is how we see our patients have less amount of deficiencies, less chances of having a deficiency, which is otherwise very common problem with any kind of weight loss procedure. Doesn't matter whether it is the pure restrictive like a band or sleeve. If we do too much of restriction, you are bound to have deficiencies. Yeah. It's not because of the bypass. is because of the poor eating if you are eating healthy you will have less chances of a deficiency then you have to take multivitamin tablet every day and get your blood work done at least once in a year in the first year you can get it done every 3 4 months and then after the first year once you lose weight and stabilize and then you need to uh, get it done every year once in a year and uh, i think you got the band done earlier and it was taken out so could you compare your experience with band and the mini gastric bypass because a lot of people think that band is some very easy surgery and that's probably there's the reason why it was done and uh, what what you uh, see and how you want to put it uh, uh, actually i was suggested by a number of doctors those who even they are senior doctors and they think they are uh, famous doctor they suggested me to go for the band and according to their suggestion they implanted a swedish band in, uh, in me in 2008 uh, and then they told me that okay no problem you will lose the weight and uh, frankly i'm telling uh, it was uh, when i was uh, started first day after the band they told me one and a half months you have to go for the only the liquid diet liquid diet like uh, even more uh, um, 
liquid like water or uh, just like soup uh, and then uh, I have to uh, eat uh, for a long uh, time sitting and swimming and eating and the most uh, important uh, and the dangerous thing was the, the thing the nightmare was the reflex actions comes to me while I'm sleeping whatever in the pouch is coming in from the nose and mouth in the night and it was very difficult to clean and uh, and uh, really it was uh, horrible to me and I, uh, I found that after certain of time in, in one, uh, one and a half years I only lost uh, 30 kilos and then again I got problem with uh, some erosion uh, inside and all that and uh, after the specialist in Canada they suggested to me better to remove the vent because otherwise you are going to develop further complications and uh, your esophagus will be separated. Yeah, so ultimately the band was removed. Yeah. And now you got this uh, MGB. So yeah. this this is uh, some very important point. Could you focus the picture of MGB there? Uh, the the thing is, it is a rest restrictive plus melds of it yeah. technique. It's a combination. It has got double power, but it is not obstructive. As you explained with band, yeah. the band is tight here. Yeah. The time, the moment you eat, it yeah. stops you from eating. You can say it's kind of forced diet. Yeah. In layman's language. So we say MGB is restricted but mm -hmm. not obstructed. Mm -hmm. So how will it res restrict your diet? The mm -hmm. outlet is wide, you yeah. can eat any amount of food. But what happens? Once you become full, you don't want to eat much. You can eat a moderate amount of food but not too much. Yeah. So if you eat a wrong food, it's going to punish you. Yes, yes. This is the technology, the latest thing. We don't stop you from eating. It will say, okay, you want to eat some fried food, Kentucky fried chicken. Okay, go ahead. You can take two, three pieces of chicken you will take and feel full. But after that, what's going to happen? It will punish you for two hours. You have a lot of gas inside, trouble, trouble. You Next time, you will come to know this food does not suit me. Yeah. So MGB gives you dumping. It acts on very old phenomena. Yeah. which is which goes by the name of uh, post gastrectomy syndrome yeah. in old times uh, patients used to have ulcers patients used to have cancers of the stomach mm -hmm. and for those reasons one part one big part of the stomach used to be removed yeah. and after that patient used to have such kind of symptoms once mm -hmm. they eat fried food or a lot of sweets they had this dumping syndrome or post gastrectomy syndrome it, like you can eat one cup of ice cream, but if you eat three, four cups of ice cream, it will punish you. Yeah. So that is how it teaches you to have a Mediterranean kind of diet. Yeah. And that is how MGB is more successful in the long run. Yes. Our patients are eating two chapatis in the first mm -hmm. month, and some patients cannot eat two chapatis in the first month. Some would take two, three months. Mm -hmm. It depends on the elasticity of your stomach. Yeah. We give you uh, this is like tailoring like for you the pouch is slightly bigger for him the pouch is tighter because we want to bring him down from 200 kilos he mm -hmm. needs to uh, lose at least 100 kilos or maybe even more yeah. but for you it's only 35 40 kilos gain so this procedure has got the luxury to be tailored mm -hmm. we can tailor the procedure we can tailor the length of the bypass and then we should not think that this procedure is like putting a lock on the weight that it will stop at 75 or 85, it's not like that. Many people have this wrong perception. This is a big help, it's a big gift from our side to you, but you should know how to handle it. It's like a new car, if you do some servicing and drive it carefully, you'll get the best results, even after 10 years it will be new. Yes. But if you want, if you hit here and there, Every day you, you, you don't go, you don't take it for servicing, then you can damage your car in one year. So if you try to keep on eating throughout the day, that's, we call it as binge eating. Yeah. One chocolate, 15 minutes, one Coke. Yeah. Yeah. So that way 10, 15 Cokes in a day, you can spoil the procedure. Yeah. You can again start gaining weight. Yeah. So it will bring down your weight and then it will go up 4 5%. That okay. happens with everybody yeah. because the body tries to adjust to it. Yeah. But after that, you have to be careful. If the weight is going slightly up, like say, if it came down to 65 kilos and now it's going to 75 kilos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, then you should check what 
wrong I'm doing? Am I taking a lot of coke, some mm-hmm. sweets or something? Stop, stop that. Do a little bit of dieting and then your weight will come down again. So mm-hmm. what I want to say is that MGB is a big powerful tool which we have fitted inside your tummies yeah. and you can put it to use anytime you want. Yeah. But you, you should know how to put it to use. So it will help you in weight loss and keeping you low weight but you have to seek the help from the procedure. Mm-hmm. So I was taught this, this thing by one of my patients who is from England. Yeah. He is a Gora Englishman. Yeah. He told me this line that before MGB, I was a slave of obesity and now obesity is my slave. Yes, correct. Yeah. So that is the difference. That's how we should take it and take healthy diet, do some exercise so as to maintain the low weight and uh, don't uh, take too much of sugars but still this procedure is very strong it will make you learn what to eat and what not to eat you don't need any kind of diet charts we are totally against diet charts because our brain is not a computer we cannot you know uh, uh, design it or train it to be on charts forever you can be on charts for a couple of months or so but this procedure will always remind you take this don't take this and gradually it becomes your habit. So uh, that, that's what I wanted to explain. And just to have a look on the picture of MGB, yeah. the special thing is the pouch is big. Yes, yes. As compared to the old techniques, if yeah. you see the Ruan Y, in Ruan Y the pouch is very small, 30 cc pouch. Yeah. Our patient wants some luxury to eat. Yeah. So this is one big difference. Big pouch, happy patient. Then the outlet. This outlet is 5 cm wide. Your food can go down easily. There is no obstruction. Like in band, if you see the band, this is obstructive. Yeah. Restrictive and obstructive. We are not stopping you from eating. But here, you cannot eat too much because of the obstruction, which yeah. patient normally would not like. Like you said, you had a lot of nausea, vomiting, yeah. you, you had to chew very small pieces, yeah. only would go down. Otherwise, yeah. any big piece would not go down because it's a kind of mechanical obstruction. But in MGB, the, uh, the total technology, the underlying mechanism is totally different. It works on the physiology of post-gastectomy syndrome, the yeah. dumping. Whatever you eat is going to directly fall into the intestine. Yeah. And whatever the intestine likes, it would teach you to take that thing. Mm-hmm. So if you eat too much of sugars, it's going to send signal to the pancreas because this food is now entering at least six feet, like in your case. In your case, we did, I think, probably more than eight feet. Yeah. So, then this is going to send signals to your body that the food which you ate is not good. So, if you are taking sugar, it's sending signals to the pancreas to produce a lot of insulin. Then your sugar will go down, blood sugar will go down. After mm-hmm. eating sugars, ironically, your blood sugar will go down after 15 minutes. You will have low sugar. Yeah. It's called as rebound hypoglycemia, which is an effect of dumping. You are dumping a lot of sugar into this part of the intestine. This part of the intestine was not tuned to receive a lot of sugars earlier in a natural way. Because earlier, if you ate sugar, it would go down gradually. And for reaching this point, it would take, it has to travel at least six feet. Yeah, but yeah. now it is directly touching this point. Yeah, go ahead, so go this part is not used to sugars earlier. Yes. But now, you know, when you eat sugar into this part, it can digest a little bit, but not too much. Then it will send a signal to pancreas to produce a lot of insulin. A lot of insulin means low sugar. Low sugar means you will have restlessness, uneasiness, tachycardia, that feeling you will not like. And next time when you eat ice cream, you will start almost hating it. We have some patients who have almost stopped eating such kind of things like chocolates and ice cream. But still, this is not 100%. There are some patients who can learn to cheat this as well. So if if you go very slow, take one ice cream, after half an hour, take one more. So that's like intelligently cheating this. That you can do, but uh, this will help you in a big way. Then it's reversible. We can just, you know, uh, put one staple here, put the stomach back to stomach. It's easy to reverse. This yeah. is one, again, very good quality. Like, why the band was so much uh, famous earlier? Because it was reversible. Yeah. And this MGB 
is more easy to reverse than a band. Yeah. Because in band you have to dig it, you have to take it out. Sometimes there is some erosion inside, you have to suture the erosion. But here, it's easy. One file here and put the stomach back to stomach. Just takes 15 minutes to reverse. So the exit strategy is very good. Like when you are sitting in a plane, they tell you that there can be some danger. So every surgery can have some dangers. If you are in danger, you know, you have to, you know, how to get out of the plane. Yeah. There is some emergency door. And this, is, this has got a very comfortable emergency door. Exit strategy is very good. We can undo it in 15 minutes very safely. And then the tail ring also. We get some young girls who can eat 35 to 40 chocolates in a day. And then they would come back with a weight regain. Yeah. But if you come back, we don't tell you to go to psychiatrist or go to dietitian. Yes. Because it's a disease. You yeah. cannot stop eating. That means you cannot. You cannot change your habits. Yeah. So, what we can do for those patients, just take it down and make a new bypass here. Yeah. So, lengthen the bypass. Yeah. And sell them again, they will be benefited. And if somebody loses too much, we can decrease so, the length. Yeah. So, the tailoring is possible. That's what we like with this procedure. We can tailor the procedure according to the patient. So, it's not like same dose for everybody. Like in band, it was same dose for everybody. Yeah. If you have the band, this is the same band for a 200 kilo patient, same band for a girl like you. Yeah. So, how should we, as a layman, if you think, how should we expect same result in every patient? Yeah. You are also taking 500 milligram of Tamilol, he is also taking 500. The effect would be different because his body is huge. He needs a stronger uh, kind of dose. So that is the luxury of adjusting the dose of the surgery with MG. Yeah. So all these things we feel are good, but the bad thing to have is the bile reflux. Yeah. If the bile goes up, yeah. and yeah. you should know, the only stigma with mini gastric bypass is the bile reflux. You must be knowing it already, I think. Yeah. You have done a lot of research. You must yeah. have discussed the matter with Dr. Atlej as well. Yeah. Yeah. So what is bile reflux if the bile gets into the stomach and goes back into the esophagus? You have seen the reflux yeah. with the band. Yeah. Every night you said it was coming into your yeah, yeah. throat. That is reflux. Yeah. That was acid reflux. Yeah. With this you can have, because here you have this green thing, this is bile. You can have the bile reflux. Yeah. But what is the incidence? Only one to two percent. Out of hundred, only maximum two patients will say we have it. And how frequently? Once in two or three months. Like with band, you are having it every day. Every day. Yeah. Okay. If you have this, you must call us or you can talk to Rutledge. Yeah. You know, some yellow thing, green thing coming here, that is bile. And yeah. it will hurt you. Yeah. There will be a lot of, you know, discomfort, burning sensation here. So that you should know that it is the bile which is coming up. Yeah. And if it happens, you will see what is the reason. Yeah. If it is happening every day, that means this procedure is not good for you. We can take it down or we need to do some kind of modification. Yeah. But if it is happening once in a while, once in a blue moon, that means you are eating something wrong. Yeah. If you ate some fried food and just get into bed within 15-20 minutes of taking it, you can have bile reflux. If you don't have, want to have it, don't take fried food at night. Yeah. So you must put in your diary if you have this any times and you can just correlate what kind of diet you were taking. Yeah. So the only thing to be, you know, to fear from is bioreflux. Already there was a lot of fear of bioreflux among surgeons. That's why this procedure was not that common in US. But now things are picking up very fast in France. This surgery is the most popular one. Last year, more than 20% of uh, the procedures were uh, MGBs. Yeah. In India also, this is becoming common. But our patients should be learned, should be aware that it's a kind of trade-off. On one side, you are having so many benefits, safety, efficacy, reversibility, revisability of the procedure. On other side, you have the viral flux. But it is not dangerous, not that, that big thing. We are all human beings. If it happens, we will come to know. If you have any uneasiness, burning sensation, you can get your endoscopy done, yeah. check what's wrong inside, and it can be easily fixed. The best thing is to have healthy food. If you are having healthy food, nothing will happen. Yeah. Yeah.
and get your blood work done every year and keep us informed, keep on emailing. Yeah. The best way to reach us is email. Yeah. And uh, ours is like, this is a permanent private hospital. Yeah. We never change the hospital because uh, yeah. <laughs> this belongs to us. So uh, you can easily find us anytime. If you have any problems, even if you don't have any problem, just be in touch. Yeah. So that we can keep on guiding you on the kind of diet or other problems which you can have and we'll keep you updating about any other better things which we have in hand for you. Yeah. All right. So uh, I want to add here uh, one important thing from my side. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very feared when I started uh, my journey from uh, Vancouver, Canada to uh, India. Uh -huh. And uh, I was surprised at uh, how a good hospital is located in a small place like a visa in Ludhiana. Even though a fort is max, uh, other hospitals are there. But when uh, actually when I landed here, I was uh, guided by the good uh, uh, staff, your experienced staff from airport itself. Uh, I was in touch about that, about my route and all that. They were ready to pick up, but I made my arrangements. And when I came here, I found the staff who is very polite, very friendly and lovely and beautiful girls are here. Punjabi girls, <laughs> so uh, you can pass the time with them and uh, uh, the rooms are very clean and neat and hygienic and uh, uh, without calling anyone they keep on coming to the room and uh, do their jobs and uh, really the staff uh, from low level to the upper level is very good and uh, I found the canteen what is set up here is also good, the canteen staff, two little boys are coming all the times with a smile. Sir, what you want, sir? What shall we bring to you? And uh, the service is very fight, good and very uh, neat and clean food they bring. And I found uh, their utensils also good. And this is the fire, fear I got when I came here. But now when I'm leaving today and uh, I'm very, very much satisfied and say that thanks to your management those who are keeping this service up and uh, I hope the same will be there in future. And uh, in the end, I will say that uh, the Gora told you previously he was slave of the um, uh, obesity and now the obesity slave. Here I will say that you should not say the MGV. You say it is a miracle gastric bypass. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, change the name a little bit. And uh, if you go for other gastric bypass, they used to say, you can say merciless gastric bypass like sleeve and all that. <laughs> so it is not a merciless, it is a miracle gastric bypass. So thank you very much, sir. We'll keep in touch with you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, thank you sir. All right.